Hey guys, this is Carl from CarlSapsy.com here with another tutorial. If you have any questions about my videos or anything in general, uh, head to my website and you can message me via my contact me page. Or if you want to just leave me a message down below in the comment section and like my videos and subscribe to me if you want to. So I've been getting a lot of um, emails recently about making a basic guessing game. Uh, from some of the things that I've already made, as in some from some of the videos that I've currently made. So I thought today would be a good opportunity for me to make a proper guessing game. So I'm going to split this into two videos. The first one's going to be about how you can um, make a logging in system. And the second one is going to be based upon how you can, with that logging in system, implement a proper game into it. Okay? So... What do we actually need when we're making a guessing game? So as I've said already, the first thing on line one, as you can see, is the logging in system with the password. The second one is the game, assuming the password and username are both correct. Things we're going to be using today are mainly going to be while loops and if and your conditional statements saying if um, something is true or not, so your booleans. Okay, so if and else statements. First thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be saying, you know, assuming we want to be making a loop saying, you know, if the person enters the if the person enters the correct username and password, then we want to progress onto the game. If not, then we want to ask the user if they want to retry to enter the username and password. So let's go ahead and start this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make something called correct and we're going to make that equal to true. What I've done here is I've said I've initialized. Uh, I've assigned the va um the boolean statement true to the variable called correct. So I'm now I'm saying whilst correct. So whilst this is true, now I want to ask. I want to get a username. So let's call this name, and I'm going to have a string input. So it could just be input. Um, guess the username or what is the username? And let's say only a specific person can play the game, so there can only be one specific uh, user input for a name and therefore I only have one particular password. So I'm, I can make a if statement saying if name is equal to something like, I don't know, let's go with my name, so Carl dot lower. So the dot lower function just kind of um, makes everything into small letters. So if I were to have something like Carl or Carl, oops, Carl, or even something like that, or it makes no difference. Everything will eventually, when when it's run, will be written in that form. It's just in small letters, not capital letters. Okay, so you can have that if you want. That's not really necessary, but it makes uh, it does make life easier sometimes. So if the username is equal to Carl, then I want to therefore progress on to making a new password. So I can call this password, say PW, and the password is going to be equal to another input saying, please enter your password. Password. Now, you need to assign a specific password again so if the password so if pw is equal let's say to something like test or yeah, say test then i want to allow you to be welcomed welcomed i can just print you may progress to the guessing game okay so effectively what i've said here so far is Whilst this is correct, ask the username for uh, ask the person ask the um person who's on the keyboard I guess uh, to enter the username. If the name is equal to Carl and only equal to Carl, no other name. Or I mean, if you want to have like multiple users, you could say or name is equal to 
uh, James or something. You can do that as well. Uh, if you want to have multiple usernames. Then you want them to enter the password. And if the password is correct, as in if it equals test, then you're going to tell the person to progress into the game. Okay, so that's what I'm going to first of all do. And I'm going to include a break statement here just so that the... Just for the first part of this video that I'm actually making. Because the second part... Um, in the second video, I'm going to be removing the break statement and we're going to be implementing the game. Now, what happens if the password's not equal to test? What are you going to do? Yeah, generally, you can ask the username. You can ask whether the person wants to try to play the game again, as in to re-enter the username and password, or you can ask them, you know, if they don't want to, then you can log them out. Okay, so we can say, if the password does not equal, so exclamation mark with the equal sign, to test, so anything but test, then you can go ahead and call this, I don't know, guess, password PWI, password incorrect. Let's just call it PWI. So I'm going to say input password incorrect. Would you like to try this? Would you like to try the username and password again? So this is either going to be a yes or no question. And we can say if PWI is equal to um, Y. So if it's equal to yes, um, then we simply want to say then correct is equal to true. So this way, what's going to happen is as correct is equal to true, it's going to rerun while correct. And you can enter the username and then enter your password again. OK, and that's the first part. You could have also included, instead of writing this, you, you could have included an else statement, but uh, else statements are not ne always necessary. Uh, you can also have if um, name does not equal Carl dot lower, then I can simply say, again, uh, user name incorrect is equal to input user name incorrect would you like to try the username again and you know if there's the exact same thing as I just did so if the username is equal to yes dot lower then I'm going to let correct equal true okay so now I've said you know if they do if the person wants to retry the username correct um let them try it again and also let them try it again if they want to try the password again but what happens if they don't so let's say they've had a cup they've tried it a couple of times but then it turns out they don't want to bother uh, they just give up so now you can say else, um, you can say print, you know, thank you for trying to log in, goodbye. And then you can quit Python if you want to. So I'm just going to say quit. So, and you can do the exact same thing here. So else print, thank you for trying. and then quit Python. Okay, so what I've done here is I've now created my basic login system, which is going to ask me for the username, and if it's Carl, then input the password. If the, password's te if the password is equal to test, then we can progress to the game. And here, instead of having the break, I'm going to be implementing, implementing the guessing game. Uh, this is just a regular comment. If you're not, if you don't know what a comment is just yet, then uh, I would recommend you look at my videos on commenting.
If the password's not correct, then we can ask the user, would you like to retry it? If they do want to try it, then let them go ahead and try it. Or we can just say, you know, or we can say, thank you for playing Quit Python. Or you can break out of it, or you can break out the while loop by saying correct is equal to false. That's another method of trying, so I'll do that in a moment. So I'll leave this as correct is equal to true. Okay. Uh, oh, no, sorry. I want to quit this one, didn't I? Quit. And if the username doesn't equal Carl, then you can ask them again, would you like to retry it? If it, if they do want to try it, then correct is equal to true. Otherwise, you want them to quit Python. So I'm going to save this as game.py and go to my terminal. And I'm going to run game.py. So, okay, so what is the username? So my username is Carl, and enter my password, my password is test. You may progress to the guessing game. Now I've put a break here because um, obviously this is where I'm going to be implementing the game, but this is just to show that it does work. If I to rerun it, what's my username? Carl, and oh no, my that's my password. Password incorrect, would you like to try the username and password again? Yes. Okay, so now it's rerunning the username. So what's the username? Carl, and um, I've incorrectly put in the password. But this time, I don't want to run, I don't want to try it again. So I put N. This is, Thank you for trying to log in, goodbye, and it quits Python itself. Now, if I were to immediately put in a wrong username, so let me just put James, incorrect username. If I want to retry it, so I'm going to put James again. I don't want to play it, thank you for trying to log in. And then, that's the end of that. Okay, so what I've done here is I've created my basic logging in system, and so that's part one of the tutorial done. The second part of the, the tutorial I'm going to be putting in my next video as to how I'm going to be actually making the main guessing game. Again, just using basic while loops and um, conditionals, i.e. boolean statements, okay? Thank you very much for watching. This is Carl from carlsapsy.com.